Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to get started with the reactive programming with the Kotlin with the Quarkus application. Moving to the cloud enabled with the event-driven architecture makes a big concern for enterprise application developer how to use various program languages such as Java, so C Sharp, JavaScript, Scala, and Groovy uh, in order to implement business requirements. Because many enterprises needed to redesign multiple architectures for container deployments separately and put more effort into optimization for production on the cloud. So developers in organization often to have the burden to run the new program languages in line with the production environment. As an example, Java developers have a switch their skill set to Node.js to develop lightweight event front applications. But luckily, we have Kotlin is designed for solving this kind of issues and targeting various developers who enable to run business applications with multiple programming and languages on top of the Java virtual machine in both imperative and reactive ways. But there's still a hurdle for specifically Java developers to catch up the new syntax or APIs of Kotlin. So today I'm going to showcase how Quarkus make it easier for Java developers to implement Kotlin application through the Quarkus Kotlin extension. Let's get right into the demo how it works. Okay, first of all, I'm going to create a new Quarkus application using Quarkus CLI. Uh, let's say the project name React to Kotlin example. And I'm going to add the two uh, extension here called Kotlin and the reactive uh, Jackson to produce and consume uh, JSON format app, uh, data with the reactive application programming. So once the new project is generated, I will open this project using my preferred ID tools. You can use any ID tool to edit your Quarkus application. And the, as always, the first thing is I'm going to run the live coding capability, uh, also known as Quarkus Dev Mode which allows me to uh, keep running this application while I keep changing my application code. So once you run the Quarkus application, when you go to landing page, you can go to a REST endpoint already created as an example, hello REST easy. When you go to sample uh, application code, as you see the REST easy, and then the basically, Kotlin provides a core routine to run the block of code concurrently with a similar uh, to the thread in Java. But the core routine can be suspended in one thread that they resume in another thread. The Quarkus enables Java developer to compose a suspending function with the suspend uh, keyword in front of your function. So as you can see, I just edited suspend. Uh, this uh, hello method and also I'm going to change the output the hello rest easy react by Kotlin suspend the function okay I just save the file and go back to endpoint and the base web browser I just reload that page it will be showcased the new result here hello rest easy react by Kotlin suspend the function okay let me try to add a new capability like a Java uh, application like a CDI injection uh, context dependency and injection. In order to do that, I'm just create a new resource a service Kotlin file uh, using application scope uh, to uh, lazy loading this uh, class. And then uh, there's a simple uh, method function here, just greeting, uh, get some parameter, uh, string name, and then return uh, the specific character, like a welcome Kotlin on Quarkus with the dead parameter name. It's pretty simple. Yeah, just some typo here. I just changed the application scoped and imported the correct uh, packaging here. So now I'm going to add uh, inject annotation just like uh, we are doing in a general Quarkus application using inject annotation. And the raise init a bar services which allows me to specify our CDI bin. And then here's a new uh, method. Uh, to invoke the CDI bin, the greeting services, and return uh, media type as a plane, and then uh, let's say new function name uh, greeting, and the pass the parameter from the name, and it will we really pass down this parameter name uh, into CDI bin, which is a reactive greeting uh, services Kotlin file. Okay, it looks good. And I'm now go back to uh, the web browser and then uh, try access the new endpoint, but I got some error. 
Uh, it's one of the beauty of the Quarkus. So you can see uh, the root code of the error uh, in the web browser as well as the runtime environment. So it make me uh, figure it out what kind of have my problem. And then I can see the name. I just uh, uh, missed the one uh, pattern is here. So I just edit it and back to the endpoint. Now you can see uh, the right result. Welcome Kotlin on Quarkus with my name, Daniel. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.